the book of Proverbs, chapter 25 and verse 27. It is not good to eat much honey. So for men to search their own glory is not glory. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, call her law, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Raka, Kodash. Double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is Proverbs 25 and 27 again. It is not good to eat much honey. So for men to search their own glory is not glory. And that's right. For a man to search his own glory is not glory at all. That's just like saying a man giving him his own self props. When the only glory and the only props given is to our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. The only one that was capable of uh, making himself a living sacrifice, all right, for the redemption of of the sins of the elect of the nation of Israel, the only one that was worthy to loosen the seals thereof unto us in these latter days. That's the only one that's worthy of glory. All right. And the man shouldn't seek out his own glory. That's not glory. I got a quick precept to bag that up. This is the book of Proverbs 27 and verse two. And it reads, let another man praise thee and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. Yeah, and brothers be, be cunningly uh, glorying themselves when they stay in a correction mode all the time. It's nothing wrong with correcting brothers because brothers need correction through the spirit. But when you stay in the correction mode all the time, that's cunningly um, searching out your own uh, uh, glory, all right? Because you, uh, in your spirit, give off the vibration as if you got it all figured out and no one has it all figured out. All right. Even our righteousness is uh filthy rags to the most high. This is uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 64 and verse six, but we all are unclean things and all our, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf and our iniquity like the wind have taken us away. And that's right. So regardless of if a brother think he's uh, righteous or more righteous than another brother, regardless of how righteous you are, all our righteousness is filthy rags unto the most high. So you can't be in that exalt thyself spirit, all right, as if you got it all figured out. We all, all right, are working for one penny. We all are, are, are seeking out our salvation, all right, with fear and trembling. We all are giving diligence to make our calling and the election short. All right. We all are in these filthy, trashy bodies. That's nothing. All right. This is the book of Romans, chapter seven and verse 18. And it reads. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing for to will is present with me. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. All right. So this is the Apostle Paul telling us. All right. From his own lips that, hey, he know that uh, in his flesh dwelleth no good thing. All right. Even the Apostle Paul said that what uh, he wouldn't uh, exalt himself. All right. Or, or the most high uh, put a thorn in his flesh. All right. Because he was given mysteries, man. So he wouldn't exalt himself, should I say. All right. So Paul knew these things, man. The Apostle Paul knew these things. So us and his truth. All right. We should know that. Uh, we shouldn't exalt ourselves uh, on a level, man, because we all are filthy rags, man. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 3. And it reads, For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself, man. That's right. All right? You, you, you have uh, uh, been sent a strong delusion, man. All right? Deception is, is, is a very strong thing, man. All right? You are, you are made to believe a lie, all right? And if you think you're something, especially in this truth, all right, you're a lie, all right? Because we are in, in the flesh, man. The only time we're going to be something, Lord willing, we be those men, all right, when we make it into the kingdom, when the Most High, all right, restore us, man, all right? Put put the uh, uh, laws, statutations, and commandments in our inward parts. Then we'll be about something. This is Galatians 6 and 3 again. 
If a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. And that's the worst thing to do, all right, is to deceive yourself, man. All right, that's like a sin against common sense, man. All right, you must know that, that you're nothing, man. All right, this is, um, this is the book of, um, the book of Sirach, chapter 3, 17. And it reads, my son, go on with thy business in meekness. So shall thou be beloved of him that is approved. All right. And that's doing this work, man. That's the business that you need to go on in meekness. All right. And the scripture says, so shall thou be beloved of him that is approved. And who's that? Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. All right. So shall you be beloved of him. Verse 18, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. Let me, let's read that again. Sirach 3 and 18, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. All right. And how do you uh, uh, become great? All right. By the increase of the spirit, by the increase of this knowledge. All right. Verse 19 Many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. That's right. High places. All right. Donald Trump. All right. The highest uh, 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 in this kingdom. All right. Which is he's, he's still a puppet. But up under the elites in this kingdom, he's the president. All right. He's still dumb as a rock, man. All right. Uh, renowned men. All right. Shaq. Okay. Denzel Washington. All right, they don't have to have this truth, man. All right, the scripture said, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. All right, the, the the meek in the spirit have these mysteries, man. Have these jewels. All right, of the King James version. All right, not a proud, pompous guy, man. All right, verse twenty. For the power of the Lord is great, and He is honored of the lowly. All right, and that's something like I always say: you can't currently be lowly. You can't currently be meek. All right. That's that's something got to be in your spirit, man. All right. Let's jump from there. And I want to get one last scripture because we must know in this truth, man, that, hey, we are all uh, 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 in this flesh, man. And we're working for salvation. We're working. All right. To, to be perfected in that day. But right now we are in the flesh, man. And, and the flesh is nothing. All right. So there's no reason why. A brother should be high-minded, all right, towards another brother, all right, when we all are singing the same song, man. Some, some just can sing better than others, but at the end of the day, we are all singing the same song. This is the book of Matthews, chapter 5, all right, and verse 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the kingdom, all right? Only the meek shall inherit the kingdom, all right? Not a pompous, proud person, only the meek, all right? So... We must pray for meekness, you know, pray that we stay in that humble spirit, all right? Pray that we stay uh, in that humble spirit unto the day of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, all right? Lord willing, I pray that this been edifying, you know, and also somewhat of a warning, all right? To brothers, you know, don't be in that high-minded spirit, man. We all are singing the same song. Some can just sing this song better than others, man. All right. But we all fighting the same fight. All right. What to reap salvation.